Well, good morning, everybody. We are in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We are staying at uh, Sun Outdoors, Car formerly known as Carolina Pines, and we've been here for some time. So we've kind of been on a little hiatus, I, I guess you would say. Lynn is back there. She's getting ready to get some breakfast going, and there's a special reason for that. Is you know, it's Christmas time. So this is the week before Christmas. No. This is no two days before. Christmas. Two days. This is Saturday. A week before. This is two days before Christmas, and we are gonna have some friends over. Uh, Lynn's cousin is coming over. Cousins. It's gonna be cousins. I'm sorry. There's four of them. <laughs> Cousins are coming over. Uh, we're going to do a kind of a brunch style thing. But let me show you a little bit first. We do have up some Christmas decorations. Look at it. Merry Christmas from the banks. Tree and all going on. We got our little tree up there. Then we got our tree going on on the TV with a fireplace. Look at that. Merry Christmas. And then we got our real fireplace going on. This is a good way to keep things toasty. So what what are you gonna cook this morning? Well, when I was growing up, my mom always, always, always had Christmas breakfast for the neighborhood. And I when we lived in our sticks and bricks, I kind of kept that tradition going for several years. So this is a downsized version of our Christmas um, early. Usually she did it on Christmas morning. We're not gonna wait to Christmas morning. So uh, we prepped last night and we cooked our meats. We've got sausage, bacon um, that we cooked last night. This morning, I'm getting ready to cook grits. We're gonna cook eggs. I have fruit prepped that I'm getting I'm, well some apples I'm gonna cut but my other fruit is prepped uh, apples pineapples grapes we have a new recipe that I'm trying I'll, I'll let you see that it is like a pancake casserole I'll let you see we'll, we'll work with that one biscuits and I mean we just having breakfast the southern way so guys we're gonna do all that in a stove, on a stove, this size, and oven. the oven that size, in the RV. We got this. We got this. No, she's got this. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> you, know, you saw what I did for Thanksgiving. I cooked the full Thanksgiving meal. Yeah, she did. So, this is nothing. This I got this. Yes, nothing. <laughs> And one and a half cups of water. Okay. 
two cups of flour, one and a half cup of water, one fourth cup of maple syrup, one cup of cheese. I researched last night and I found that you can't cook, you shouldn't cook instant grits in the instant pot. So what I did was I cooked my grits on the stove and now I'm transferring them to the instant pot to keep warm. And why are you doing that? To keep warm, to keep them warm. Um, I don't want them, you know how grits can get cold so quickly. Yeah, but I mean, if it's because of the volume of grits that you're oh, yeah, cooking because, because yeah. we're having guests. Yeah, so. we're having guests. I, this is not something I normally do. We're yeah. having guests, so I cooked a little extra grits, and I didn't want um, I didn't want them to get cold, and I wanted everybody to be able to enjoy some grits. So okay. that was it. I got a warrant out on that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you don't get that warning, man. They tell me I can't cook it so far anymore. Oh. We used to watch it in Florida. And they said, no, bro, that's too far away, y'all. Don't go so far. Away. Okay, here we go. And now they're like, go, go, right? Well, no, they still yeah. won't. They, they try to pull the chain. Yeah, they want to go home. They don't want to stay. They call and say, what's the temperature today? And I'll tell them, you might as well be here. Oh, man. You know, but I don't know. I want to live in the dry. All right, so Lynn's finished with all the food. Just gave y'all a little peek of that and now uh, let me introduce you to some some of our friends that we have friends and family here so i'm gonna leave it to y'all to introduce your own self these are these are uh, two runaway old folks right here <laughs> and you know i'm saying that but that's the name of their channel <laughs> so introduce yourselves please sharon i am hampton hampton and sharon mm -hmm. and then we got Cousin Marva, Marva. <laughs> we got George, George, who is who is uh, Marva's other half. I would say better half, but you know. <laughs> then we got I ain't even gonna say your name, Brian. I'm gonna say Pumpkin. We got uh, Pumpkin <laughs> over there. <laughs> Look at it. he fell all back in the chair. Yeah, dude. and then we got Boogie over there. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you weren't gonna say that's Jared. right, Jared. All right. So. We are going to get ready and just have some breakfast, some fun, some fellowship. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. I've been to a house. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Guys, these are, we, we you probably heard us talk about how we meet some of the nicest people when we're out camping. Mm -hmm. These two, we kind of connected with them, and, and even though we don't see each other often, we family that we, oh we love mm -hmm. people who know a word of prayer yeah, right. and can bring it up when you need it. Ooh, yeah. Jesus, I just got a chill through my book and have church. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, this neighborhood is in Conway, South Carolina. 
you know, Sun Outdoors Myrtle Beach, formerly known as Carolina Pines. So yesterday we had a great time with family. We did our thing. Uh, you know, you saw the breakfast that we had. We hung out a little bit last night. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today it is uh, Christmas Eve. And we are just kind of chilling, but I have decided I want to cook on a grill. So I think what I'm going to do is go to the store this morning, get something. I don't even know what I'm going to get. Cook on the grill, have family over, and chill. It's supposed to be in the 60s today, maybe about 65, I think. Oh, yeah. Let me show you uh, our site. We are in site d40 and as you can see we have a paved site here nice little patio area and we we didn't select this site they selected it for us we have a picnic table and then we got our little fire pit over here you know the normal kind of Carolina Pines stuff, or I'm sorry, Sun Outdoor stuff. You know, you got your water, your electric, and your sewer. Everything is really convenient. You know, so, uh, yep, this is our site. And look, let me show you Lynn's outside. Merry Christmas decorations. When, we, when you see this, it, it is the day before Christmas, so. We are all geared up for Santa Claus and all the Christmas stuff going on. So, let's go to the store. Guys, we have taken a break from filming and all that stuff. We've taken care of uh, some family stuff while we've been here we would uh, we will be here for a month or we're here for a month so we are probably halfway through closer to the end it has actually gone pretty fast although we haven't been doing a lot of recording we've been busy because our son has been uh, sick he was in the hospital uh, it's been about eight, 10 days in the hospital. Lynn spent about half of that time with him in the hospital. So we have not really been busy, busy, busy doing YouTube stuff uh, other than, you know, doing some editing. We had plenty, plenty of content. Man, I, I, I didn't realize we had that much content, but we are, starting to get back <laughs> that's fun <laughs> we're starting to get back into uh, our groove as far as recording is concerned so we are like i said we're going to get some food i feel like cooking out the day our, our cousins are here they're in a uh, cabin and that's a great way to go and visit have family come visit you when you're out camping if you can schedule it schedule it all together and you know where you're going to be for an extended period of time if they don't have a camper they can just rent a cabin and you can hang out and we have had a ball we have had a ball
y'all. We did it again. Did all that cooking. Didn't show y'all none of the food. <laughs> but we're watching the game. Or one of the games. So the guys up here watching the game. His brothers and the two teams that they like are playing against each other today. The so Dallas and Dolphins are playing. That's right. So you know, they they've been at it since the begin since the game started. But we had baked beans, which you about finished. We had some chicken on the grill and salad. And George is finishing up the last of the salad. <laughs> South Carolina. We're getting up and uh, moving around, doing some cooking, some coffee making, kind of our morning routine. Just enjoying it, enjoying it. Taking our time, try to do this thing at our speed. So what is your morning routine like when you're camping or if you're full time? You know, is it coffee first thing, exercise first thing? Hours kind of varies. We do, sometimes I get up early and Lynn will sleep in for a little while or sleep her normal time. She sleeps till she wants to naturally get up. <laughs> I do too. I'm, I get up kind of early. I get up sometimes around 6.30, 7 o'clock and then uh, get my little morning stuff done. If it's an editing day or a work day, I'll do, I'll start on that, whether it's editing or getting some other things done. For the most part, it's pretty normal. Almost what we did at, uh, in our house house. Good morning, family. Dwayne has talked to you about our morning routine, and um, this is kind of what we do in the mornings. A lot of times, like he said, I'm he's up early, I sleep a little bit later, but we usually have our coffee and a little breakfast together. This morning, I had some apples in the refrigerator that I had cut up to snack on, and I wanted to go ahead and make sure they got used before they got bad, so I made some like fried apples or stewed apples to have with my bacon. <laughs> bacon. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so this is sort of what we do in the mornings after we eat and have our coffee and talk a little bit and share, we um, get ready for the day. Well, guys, just like that, work is done for now. <laughs> so we're getting ready to go get something to eat. We're going to hang out with some uh, friends. And we're going to Captain Nance's Seafood in Calabash, North Carolina. So come on, go with us. <clears throat> so, guys, we are uh, waiting to pick up camera and drew and we thought we'd come on and just give y'all a little bit of our opinion or our experience so far in uh staying in one place for a long period of time well for us a long period of time because this is the first time that we've stayed somewhere for uh a month yeah yeah well really it might a be bit five longer. weeks yeah yeah we were here from uh december 3rd to and we'll be here till january 8th but I kind of like it 
Mm -hmm. I like the fact that we're we're not moving as much. Um, we don't have to move from spot to spot to spot. Once right. we get set up, we're set up. Um, we have been able to socialize and meet some folk <laughs> and, you know, do some um, weekly things. Yeah. Have yeah. fun with them. So I, I, I kind of like it. What about yeah. you? I, so far, I've liked it because like you said some of the positives are we haven't had to move uh as often so that's not the hooking up tearing tearing down thing mm -hmm. we've um but the good thing i think is what may be the difference is we've had a lot of friends in and out mm -hmm. so when we first got here we had the cooks that came in uh and we already there were already several people here that we knew so they the cooks came and left then uh, my cousins came in. Your cousins came in and they left. So it, we've had a lot of variety. Mm -hmm. We've had some we've, stability, but we've we had got, a lot of um, variety. Robin and Ulysses here this week. Rob, they, that's right. Yeah, they're here visiting with us. They're here. So enjoying man. the park, not necessarily visiting with us. Right. But enjoying the park. Right. And then we've had the people that we met here that have been here for some time and that are that winter here. Mm -hmm. So this part, yes, I would say definitely, yes, I would come back here and spend another month or longer. Um, now, the disadvantage is you don't get a change of scenery as much if you want the change of scenery. Some people, after about a week or two weeks, they're like, okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. um, but we kind of took this time to, to slow down a little bit because we have been on the move for some time. And I think it was good. I think we need to probably figure out our our uh, uh, our flow as far as when we need a month. Right. You know. Right. And I think you made that's a, that's a key point. I think we needed it. Yeah. I think we needed this month of downtime, uh, just to kind of get our thoughts together. Yeah. To We've we've done some uh, scheduling for further into 2024. Mm -hmm. We've kind of made a plan of what we want to do. We've been close enough to our family. We can go back and forth and check on our kids. And um, it has just been really um, calm and and peaceful. And yeah. you know, I think I like it. I, I like especially in a in a location like this where you know everything you need is. It's close. nearby. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, maybe we'll pick another spot and and try to see how that works. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, if you have a suggestion for another spot to spend a month, uh, that we can do the same thing. We can hang out with people. We mm -hmm. can enjoy the, the area and, uh, you know, have some downtime from, some, from traveling. Put it in the comments. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> see y'all in a little bit.
so guys we finished up our meal and so now we're gonna have reviews from the restaurant from the truck <laughs> restaurant review Rest from the, the truck. truck so we have Tamara and Drew so y'all introduced, I just introduced him, though they don't need to introduce themselves. <laughs> but I'm Tamara and he's and the Drew. Drew. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm Drew. So y'all give your, your, oh, that was going to be good. That wasn't going to be good. No. Okay, so y'all give your review of what you thought about Captain Nance's Calabash Seafood. I thought it was really good. The uh, hush puppies were really good. Everything mm -hmm. came out hot. Um, I had the devil crab. Um, I don't believe I've had devil crab in a long time. That was very, very good. I, of course, forgot to share it with my wife, <laughs> but it was very good. Um, the shrimp was very good. Uh, their tartar sauce was uh, was very good as well. Uh, I did ask for an accommodation about uh, salt as far as butter goes. They did uh, bring me out 2% uh, salt butter. They didn't have salt, uh, salt free uh, or unsalted. Um, but they did bring out something that was less sodium, so they did make an accommodation, which was very, very good. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was my review, but uh, I'll definitely go back. I plan on it for sure. You yeah. like their coleslaw because you did share your coleslaw with me. I did share their coleslaw. The coleslaw was sweet. It actually had a, a hint mm -hmm. of cinnamon in yeah, it. Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. And but, uh, I like I like coleslaw that mm -hmm. is fine like that. Yeah, I don't like was, to be uh, chunky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was very good, and it wasn't wet. It wasn't right. very wet. Yeah. And so uh, that was very good. I'll definitely go back. Okay. Yeah. I, I had the shrimp cocktail, so I did play it safe. I didn't get a, a fried mm -hmm. uh, seafood platter, but the shrimp cocktail was good. The, sh the shrimp were firm. Mm -hmm. the, there was plenty of lemon and yeah. um, a good cocktail sauce. Good. Cool. Good, I, good. I did like the hush puppies. Those were yeah, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, exactly like hush puppies. And then they had yeah. like a honey butter or yeah. some yeah. kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. good. Very was good. good. I had flounder and a baked potato. And it was very good. I had two pieces of flounder, and I have flounder now for dinner <laughs> because I couldn't eat it all. And hush puppies. And <laughs> hush puppies. Yes, there were there had, were three hush puppies left. I put them in my bag and my to go box. And I had fish and shrimp, which was just like everybody said, fresh, good, hot. And yeah. uh, so I'm pretty sure we'll be back. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to take pictures, y'all. Oh, we just ate. We didn't take pictures of nothing. We just oh. ate. Yeah. 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 We said grace and went for it. Yep. Yep. Got carried away. <laughs> All right. See y'all in a little bit. We took a little detour. We're in <laughs> Sunset Beach, North Carolina, just up the road from uh, South Carolina. So we've never been here before. So small little town, little beach town. And now we're out here visiting the Atlantic Ocean. We got all the people out here chilling because it's cool. Okay, y'all, now we are at the location. So here's the crew. All of a sudden, they get quiet. <laughs> and then, here's, here's our guests. They're out here cooking. They got big pots, which means big food. And and so we are gonna enjoy ourselves with the oh wait a minute y'all watch this oh this is a crab right here though mm -hmm. hey got some crab in there some shrimp oh man and if you want to come over here a little bit okay and over here we got corn and potatoes potatoes already and then down and up in here 
something. Man, they ain't come playing, on, come y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Come they on. ain't playing. Come on. You got you know something else? Oh, okay. I thought you were going. <laughs> so if you do me a favor, just grab this. I got to go grab some sauce. All right. I'll be back. Alright, so if you guys want to make your way over here. So, oh, I'm, you can I'm do, filming. So, y'all don't. So, just so you know what we have we have shrimp, excuse me. we have snow crabs, mm -hmm. corn, potatoes, sausage, uh, and we have multiple sauces to put them on as well. Okay. Right? okay. So, I'm going to provide you tents. Oh, okay. 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 She's going to lovely provide you your, your, your portions. Oh, and then y'all got the. Hey, we're gonna have it to go in the morning. Y'all got we're gonna, the. We're gonna have them Boston butts and and. Goodness, y'all look. I hope you can see this. We're gonna have them Boston butts and briskets on tomorrow. Wow. And um, lamb chops. We'll have all that tomorrow. Oh, man. If you don't this come back, nice. listen. If you don't come back, it's just on you. Well, we're gonna try to make it back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you don't come back. Nobody fought with you. Uh -oh, we're gonna try to make it back tomorrow. Yes, sir. So y'all got a I mean, I'm eating the whole claw right now. Ooh. Or I will, since I figure out how to get into See, my, oh, with my bare hands. <laughs> you might have to do it. Somebody's going to have to use it. If it's not, if it's not, it's already.